Hey everyone, I'm Louis. Welcome back. Well, Halloween is just finishing, and as as well as uh, Halloween event on on the mobile uh, version of the game, and I thought we'd do a quick wrap up on the items you can get from the vendor before the vendor uh, vanishes in about 24 hours. So, let's do that. Well, we have here um, we have here the vendor, and let's see here. And if you look here in the items, uh, some some YouTubers have already commented on this, but you have, as usual, the, the skin stones, the artifacts, you have items, and then you have uh, the, uh, the option of um, evolving Zisha, uh, that could be the spelling <laughs> or not, the Zisha to, to a, a higher star uh, um, promotion, uh, rank, prom uh, prom uh, the rank, yes. Or you can get the otherworldly chests, and these ones can get you a bunch of things, including the devil skin for um, for Lilith. So, um, biggest value, as many YouTubers have said before, the skin stones. Uh, probably uh, to a lesser uh, uh, amount, the artifacts, and then also the otherworldly chests, because what you get here, uh, you can get them these resources anywhere else but they, they are coming in good amounts and you cannot be sure what you will get but anything you, you get here will be um, we hope <laughs> good enough <laughs> for the effort then um, the items but that depends so let's see orange items of course but does your your heroes um, need any of these so Let's go quick over a few of these. So, for example, Oracle Sensor, the Recipe. This is used by Orion, by Celeste, and um, I presume also Astaroth. And there will be a bunch of other ears that will probably be using this, like Helios. Then we have Stuff of Stubbornness. I believe um, most prominently, ooh, the hero that uses this is Daredevil. I'm not really sure what other heroes might be using this might be also nebula because she has another item that is similar to this shape i'm not sure but daredevil for sure uses this and we have staff of neutralization a lot of mage heroes use this it's um it's a uh, uh, although oracle sensor shows here uh, the same price as the staff of neutralization i believe oracle sensor is a bit harder to get i could be wrong on this um, and at least it's required by a higher level upgrade or promotion of, of your heroes and staff of neutralization appears um, more often at, at lower uh, orange um, ranks orange and, and um, orange yes orange rank then we move on to so the, uh, of these ones the I think the most the most um, better spent value would be the, the staff of stubbornness and the oracle sensor but that depends on what heroes you are using and what you exactly need that's what the point where i also wanted to touch if you need badly an item uh, consider getting it um just don't go uh, far down below to to the to the blue and green items because those are so easy to get but if you need really any 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 of these even purples um, i mean w maybe not these ones these are quite common but for example siren song you need them often and they are a bit sometimes a bit more harder to get then why not and then we move on to the to the items those were the resabs we have now the items so uh, to give you some heads up here so enigma's chronicles this is used uh, uh, at lower uh, orange ranks by by celeste by orion and other mage heroes and also healers a lot of of um, magic damage heroes will will be using Enigma's Chronicles. And then we have Asclepius and we have blue plated armor. Asclepius, I believe this is a typo. Blue plated armor would be the most correct, not plate armor. This is obviously, I think, a misleading mistake here. Asclepius stuff is something that a lot of uh, uh, eye uh, armor health heroes have particularly tanks and that will be the case for sure I'm completely sure of this Astroth and um, possibly um, possibly Ziri but I'm not sure on that but Astroth is one case so if you if you are upgrading your Astroth you will likely need this 
okay and this is the full item this requires also uh, the um, what is it called that that kind of belt thing um, we will try to see that in the, in a bit but this requires items that are a bit more tough to get then the blue plated armor this is also needed by tanks uh, and most other tanks need this and also other heroes like Dorian for example he, he uses this so I would recommend getting these ones okay um, blue plated armor as uh, I would recommend and, and favor these uh, over many of the things here and they're probably more needed in general by most people than the other stuff in here but it just depends on what you need then uh, if you are a bit desperate to get some items and these do take a lot of time it's just now at midnight uh, I mean um, in my case 2 a.m. <laughs> but it's the, re the event refresh so now the the, the shop has refreshed um, if you are in need of certain items or it's just taking too long to effort to, to get some items th these purples uh, here some of them are also well worth it so the panoptic orb and the book of prophecies we will take a look at that um, let's take a look at the panoptic orb let's take a look at, uh, at a bunch of those items that I mentioned so for example here on Orion we can see we can see scroll down so you can st start seeing here the uh, the enigmas chronicles that they they appear okay to to in there so this is one one of the heroes that uh, at a lower uh, orange rank uses those items then stops using them um, at least directly I'm not sure any of these items require that but uh, I'm pretty confident that from orange rank three onwards what you need orange two actually what you need is not anymore the enigmas but instead the the Lamorts map and then the, the, the belt I was talking about the alchemist set so this one gives a uh, typically health and these are obtainable I think on on a um, quite a quite a number of, of locations but the most um, valuable locations to get this would be for example the 13 tree to get not just the alchemist set but also the Asclepius staff for his type and then you also have these ones if you need the, the physical uh, type of uh, hero items and uh, here as well okay so then uh, let's move on we saw we saw for example uh, Asclepius staff is also needed by by Orion uh, although um, probably in much lesser amounts let's see take a look here uh, these ones always always need the, the Lamorts map. The Oracle sensor doesn't need that any, any either, and this one takes the Oracle sensor. So you see now, um, less uh, uh, amount needed in terms of Asclepius, but you ha you have the um, also the stuff of neutralization as I've spoken before, and then you have those that I mentioned, and then the Oracle sensor that I was just uh, mentioning earlier. The Oracle sensor is needed uh, in multiple stages here, so it's needed for this item, it's needed for this item, of course, it's the Oracle sensor, and in here, now we, don't, we take different, ah, we, we are back in the Enigmas, yeah, that's true, that's true. So that's, that's for example, the case of Orion. Then we have Asteroid, okay, in Asteroid case, we, we have often these uh, Asclepius staffs, so you see them, just about every orange rank has one except for the first one so one two three four ask let you stuff and you have these items um, and these items are a bit of a mix like this is also the same used by by Orion and this one other here um, they keep using these helmets okay so many of these use the helmet so unfortunately we don't have uh, any of these blue balls here the the spheres of power we don't have any of the helmets um many of these things don't show up there so you, you cannot get the full range of items you would need for for example for astronaut but but it's okay because this is an uh, this is an, uh, an event centered on on uh, on um, on Zisha and if you take a look at her uh, items you will see that this this uh, event is fit for her and the items that show there are items that she needs at least the most part of them not, not every one of them so Moving on, so you see that uh, Oracle sensor also needed here, uh, as long as as well as the Asclepius uh, stuff, and the items that you need for these are often the Alchemist set. Okay, so 
that's one thing that I'm a bit sad that it's not available there because I would really appreciate if we, we would get both the Alchemist set but also the Lycanders, the Lycanders uh, um, Fang, Lycanthropus Fang. Those are very much in need in my account, so it would be would be good, <laughs> but it's not <laughs> it's not about what, what I want or what I w would like to to have, but um, it's what they have picked for the event, and so there it is. For Celeste, uh, a similar the types of items that she needs uh, as compared to to Orion, so you see it's more or less the same things here. And and then I was talking about the stuff of stubbornness. So for example, here on their devil, as I mentioned, she uses that. It decomposes to a bunch of items in there, and um, and I've also talked about the need of the blue plated armor for for or for Dorian, and you see here it, that he uses it, it multiple multiple orange ranks. Okay, he also needs the co the oracle sensor and also the the staff of um, aesthetic staff. Okay, and then we have also another tank f as an example, Ziri. She uses a lot of these uh, blue plated armor. You can see here. Uh, at um, orange plus one, she has already two in there, but there's also at orange uh, rank four and three and two, and uh, just not at orange rank one because this item is a, a higher level, I believe. Um, we were talking about Nebula. Maybe Nebula uses that uh, staff of stubbornness. I hypothesized, I didn't really check, but no, she does. She uses the, the trickster skein and it's. Um, slightly different item in terms of, of visuals I'm sure the the uh, function is probably very different <laughs> um, then I think we can now take a look at uh, what would be for example the items for Lilith and for in for Zisha so they are kind of sisters so Lilith she uses uh, also the blue plated armor the stuff of um, negation naturalization she uses also items that are more usually typically used for uh, for physical heroes but also these mage items here and and there you go more of the same so if you look at what's available in the shop you can see that a, a big portion of the items I available there would also benefit Lilith and now reg regarding um, Zisha Zisha is in here, so she needs Oracle Sensor, she needs Staff of Naturalization, she needs the Asclepius Staff, she needs the Panoptic Orbs, and she needs the Enigmas. So all of these items, and also the, the Book of Prophecies, these crowns, all of these items, and also these Elephant Guards, all of these items are present in the shop. So if you want to, to grow her very quick, this is an option, you can grab all of this stuff and and do with that um so regarding what i exactly want to do so i decided to give uh, to give uh, zisha but also lilith um um the benefit of, of a doubt i've seen a lot of videos um for both cases praising how, on how they they got much better uh, back Back then, uh, um, when we d we had the the event that um, refactured Lilith, I really thought, oh, wow, this could be cool. I could be uh, swapping in Lilith in my in my uh, mage team. By the way, I'll, I'll just um, show you guys that that mage team is this second team here. And I was thinking maybe maybe I could um, use Lilith. Uh, in place of, for example, Celeste, or in place of uh, um, Helios, or maybe if if now Lilith, and it, you can you can take a look at that, if Lilith is in the back, and she will be one of the most back uh, heroes that you you will get, maybe, and that is enough to all, uh, also because she 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 many plates health and all of that. Maybe she it's enough to have a team with Lilith and not having um, the typical ODH composition. So, for example, you could possibly, not sure it's the best, but possibly you could drop in uh, uh, Lilith in place of Dorian, for example. Okay, This is one of the things that I was thinking back then. Either putting Lilith in place of uh, of um, of Dorian or in place of Helios and keep Dorian. So, 
those were things that I was considering because I'm mostly I was concerned. Uh, I have a nice team here for for my third team, uh, and now it's not here anymore. But <laughs> uh, I was I was using Dorian here, and I was very happy with this. But then, um, as I was developing Dorian, experimenting, and I thought, okay, why not? Why not try this the so so much popular ODH team? And the thing is, I I, th I thought um, now I wouldn't like that so much. But then I liked it <laughs> a lot. Uh, but uh, more than liked it, I, I saw that it was so useful on the previous server that I was in because, and I thought, whoa, is it going to be so useful against all these uh, Kira uh, with Jet and, and all these Daredevil teams in my server? And the fact is that it was. It was. But then I moved, I moved server and the server that I'm now uh, with my guild we all moved in um, we have a lot more carks um, than um, critical teams so the the existing the existing uh, population uses a lot more kark than Daredevil or Kira and there's a lot of kark of, uh, of, of Kira and, uh, and uh, Daredevil teams as well with critical but um, it's no longer the most beneficial situation for me so um, in the previous server when I started using Helios a few weeks before moving I could use this team always like this and even if I didn't win at least it was the best team to use against my opponent um, be it in Grand Arena or Arena, it will be always the, the, the most uh, useful case. And now it's not anymore because um, it's not the right combo to fight Kark teams, right? So uh, to fight Kark teams, I would uh, have to do something else, like for example, drop Helios and, and put in here and Vary, and maybe I can uh, put in a Nebula that I use a lot, or I no, not use. For example, Nebula, but use uh, and put in here Akira to do extra damage. Maybe, uh, <laughs> you know, and there's a, a, a bunch of scenarios. I typically mm, uh, use this core uh, uh, before in my mage teams, and I didn't really like that. I needed to 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 do like this to to start winning fights again as I moved in the ranks. Um, but uh, now it's different. It's different, and so I was thinking just a few weeks ago when we had the uh, little rework. Maybe, maybe finally I can, I can do this, uh, and maybe it will work. May maybe I can put uh, Nebula, and this combo will work, and I don't need uh, Hildius nor Dorian, and I can give back my Dorian to the third team, and I. Uh, stop using Helios so so much, and then I only switch uh, Lilith for Helios when I fight the the critical teams. Right? <laughs> That's what I thought. So, enter uh, Zisha. So Zisha, which is a new addition, uh, turns out that she's really good against physical teams in general. Okay. So. All these skills, I won't be going into much this, I'm already extending this video a bit, but now that you can use uh, a hero that can be a bit more, and rem remember we had also Isaac coming here, I also tried Isaac a bit, but Isaac isn't exactly what we, um, Isaac and Tristan, so Isaac is not exactly the, the good uh, anti-mage uh, uh, hero uh, as everyone expected like it is on, on browser version and Tristan is not exactly either a very good uh, um, hero either and then Phobos, it's kind of weird to think about so Phobos so a true generic uh, anti-physical hero well if you're not planning to use Corvus then it's not, it's not around right Corvus means replacing your tank so for most of us it's not the option and then enter Zisha and Zisha gives us that possibility and now we have an interesting combos that we can do so we can look of course we can still use the typical ODH but we can do the ODL with Lilith. Well, we can also do uh, something like the ODX 
right disha disha here or we can do uh, something more bold like the this one yeah? <laughs> I like I like experimenting so I will be doing some experimentation anyways with that I thought I'd give um, more chances to Zisha and so I've concluded in getting a bunch of items that I think will fit at least my interest in experimenting uh, if not anything else but I'm also giving room to the things that I really need uh, for for my development of my main here so I will be getting um, a bunch of these items, a bunch of these recipes. I will be getting a bit of uh, rank upgrades for my for my Zisha, but I'm also getting this a few items that I really need uh, Zisha to push uh, uh, forward. Um, so, anyways, that's the plan that I have, uh, or maybe I'll change the plan <laughs> as I go. Um, but anyways. I will be getting, let's see, I will be getting, and I hope you guys can, can evaluate the map for you, but I will be getting an uh, uh, Oracle sensor, because I need it for, for Asteroid, I will be getting an, an, um, a Staff of Asclepius, either for him or for another hero, I will be getting uh, the... Um, I might consider this Staff of Stubbornness for my Daredevil here, I will be getting uh, definitely uh, a one blue plated armor for, for Ziri, because I need her to be a bit stronger for the Hydra fight, but also for the Grand Arena fight. And um, not to forget, uh, I might touch on on Zisha here and get her the, the thing. Oops, the one next. I get her a few of these things that she's missing uh, to uh, to reach the orange rank and be a bit more uh, fit for for testing. Well. Uh, that's it. Um, I hope you can make your purchases uh, um, smartly enough and enjoy the uh, these rewards as much as you can. With that, I'll um, I'll see you around <laughs> without a hat. <laughs> and um, I hope you had a fun a fun with this. And uh, leave any comment any any. Um, suggestions uh, on, on, on comments uh, on this video and I'll, I'll be sure to, to, to reply and also get me a bit more informed of what I can do. So um, have a great a great evening and and have a great uh, end of extended weekend as well. <laughs> bye bye and take care.